Nature is beautiful. But every day, many environmental factors can harm the eyes. The tear film is one of the main protections against natural elements, such as wind, water, dust, sun. The soap, or even just the water, may weaken or remove the natural protection of our eyes. Besides the daily exposure to natural elements, modern life has other problems such as extreme use of devices like cell phones, computers, and video games. Dry eye or lacrimal dysfunction syndrome is a global disease. Millions of people worldwide suffer from its effects with symptoms of burning, thin foreign bodies, itching, photophobia and decreased quality of vision. The physiopathology is multifactorial and generally arises by the presence of an imperfect tear film degenerated by age and aggravated by the low rate of blinking mostly in women. An imperfect tear film further leads to hyperosmolarity which in turn inflames the ocular surface bringing the symptoms of discomfort mentioned. In June 2011, Asker's special report on the meibomian gland dysfunction syndrome showed that this condition is often underrated and likely the most common cause of dry eye. The Tear Film and Ocular Surface Society TFOS, is a study group created in 2011 to conduct a multicenter study for a meibomian gland dysfunction syndrome. According to them, MGSD is a chronic condition diffuse of the meibomian gland, commonly characterized by terminal duct obstruction and or qualitative or quantitative changes of the glandular secretion. Both Asker's report and TFOS studies indicate that evaporative form due to abnormal lipid layer is responsible for three quarters of all cases of dry eye. Thus, recognize the correct type of dry eye is imperative for the institution of correct treatment. Part 2 New simple tests to recognize the lipid layer. Seeking to better understand the importance of lipids in the tear film, we present two tests that can be easily performed at slit lamp the breakup time fat and the lipid scout. The breakup time fat. The breakup time fat is nothing more than an adaptation of the traditional breakup time plus the interference by the addition of fats coming from the meibomian glands. Traditional breakup time is carried out by counting the seconds until the rupture of tear film. Next, squeeze some of the meibomian glands and then observe the arrival of lipid material on the lacrimal surface. Wait a little, allowing some blinking to spread new material. And now count the seconds again. Eyes that naturally produce fill lip material normally need more power to squeeze and have a great improvement with the addition of more mybum. Thus, when there is improvement of the breakup time, we believe that there is missing lipids to stabilize the tear film. The Lip Scout Sometimes we can observe nice overtones near our light source. In this example, we observe an abnormal patient's tear that shows a huge amount of lipids produced by hyperfunctional glands. Usually, such signals cannot be observed without the presence of a filter.
So, using a filter, colors are revealed and its intensity vary with the amount of oil. Lip Scout is a very simple test that uses a small piece of an adhesive tape like micropore attached to the lids at a right distance from the cornea. Putting the slit lamp light source and microscope into a 60 to 90 degrees away, focusing on the surface of the cornea, we look for an specular wave like image. Eyes with few colors are related to poor production glands, thus favoring the diagnosis of evaporative dry eye. Part 3 Deciding on the type of dry eye OSDI is an excellent subjective method to evaluate the symptoms of dry eye patients. With good sensitivity, it can separate normal eyes from dry eyes, but tests as breakup time, Schirmer tests, corneal staining and even osmolarity alone does not define what type of dry eye we're facing, if water deficiency type or evaporative by lipid deficiency. For this we created the lipid test. The lipid test is a computer simple program that meets only objective data from clinical examination of the patients, clarifying and classifying the kind of dry eye. Using lipid test. First, perform lip scout and add the result to the program. Now perform the breakup time, informing how many seconds were needed. Next, squeeze some glands, observing the amount of product and its quality. Then, after one minute, perform the breakup time again and inform the time in seconds in the breakup time fat space. Finally, perform Schirmer tests with topical anesthesia and report the outcome in millimeters. Just after inserting the data, lipid test will point the type of disability by an arrow ranging from lipid deficiency to another extreme, the water deficiency, passing through the possible mixed forms. Lipid test is a free software available for download at drleonardogontito.com. Thank you.